Oh, at least that. Okay. Uh, well, you know, let me tell you why we're calling. You know, with the utility companies rolling out their rate increases, uh, you know, it has been uh, three in the last six months. Uh, the state of California is just forcing them to uh, give homeowners options. And uh, they put millions in the bank, uh, which is to get allocated to homeowners to help offset the startup cost of going solar. Uh, that's why we're calling, and that's what we do. It is a free solar analysis for you, so you can see what funding you qualify for, and it, you know, find out if it really makes sense for you to go solar. No obligations, all free. Um, it's an information visit to you. Uh, when's a good time for you, though? Is it better in the morning, afternoon, or early evening? Uh, uh, for, for what? For what? Uh, well, for them to come out and uh, do a solar analysis, which basically they just check your roof, uh, your shading issues, uh, take a look at your uh, bill, check out the kilowatt usage, um, you know, make sure the home is suitable for solar. Uh, if it is suitable, then they go over all the funding they qual you qualify for. Um, and then that's the information they uh, leave you with um, to see if you, you know, want to want to go solar or not. Okay, well, what would be like, what would be my my uh, investment into going solar? You, certainly, certainly this can't be for free. Of course not, right. And, and so what the programs really are designed to do is instead of you having that big cost of solar, uh, to help offset a lot of that, uh, you know, eliminate like the startup cost, installation and all that, so you can actually get into the solar, pay it off monthly, to, you know, as if you were paying your electric bill, but that money goes towards paying your solar, and then once it's paid off, you actually own your own energy, uh, so then, you, you know, you can qualify for the buyback program, and uh, you don't have to worry about the increases that pg and &E is going to continue to roll out for homeowners. Uh, so those are kind of the bigger benefits, but there's just different things that incentives for homeowners, which is what we come out and, you know, inform you about. Yeah, okay, so, like, the, so I would be paying a, a small monthly, a small monthly fee is what you're saying to finance this solar installation on my roof. Uh, well, well, if you qualify for the firms, yeah, you wouldn't have the, the solar cost, like a big upfront cost. Uh, but typically, yeah, you would pay, you know, monthly um, until the panels are paid off. But you don't pay your solar and your uh, electric bill, pg &E. You only pay, you know, the solar company. So let's say your bill's like $250. Uh, you know, let's say you go solar and you're able to only pay $70 a month to the panels until they're paid off. So they really try to make it where it makes sense. So you don't have a big upfront cost or any cost at all. And then you just pay off monthly because you're going to pay for energy either way. Uh, you can, but you know, if you're, if you're going solar, you're buying it versus renting it or leasing it, okay, you know, well, through the utility company. So, so, like, how many how many years am I going to be paying to till I own my own system? Mm. And that's really what they come out to determine. I mean, it's different for each individual homeowner uh, because the uh, roofs are different. The way the sun kind of goes over is a little bit different. You know, your neighbor might use five times as much energy as you do. So it really is different, but that's what they determine when they come out and do the analysis. Uh, and then at the end of it, you'll know exactly what it would cost you, what the payoff is, the benefits. You know, anything you want to know about solar, they'll be able to let you know. And like I said, it's a free uh, information visit. That information is good for up to a year, so you do have plenty of time to kind of weigh the options. So like, so like how many kilowatt system would you install? Like I'm, I got a, a oh, let's see. Uh, probably like a 12, I don't know, what what do they call it, 12-4 or something, slope Oh roof. my goodness, yeah, and I really don't sell solar, so I have no idea what, what that would be. Yeah. You know, I really just set the appointment, I wish I had a little bit more information. Yeah. But let me see uh, if I can get my supervisor to talk to you. might be able to kind of give you a little bit better uh, right. answer on that. that. that uh, you good. hold on one yeah. second? Yeah, it's fine, okay. Oh, hold on. Solar, huh? Yeah, just forget a lot of sunshine here. Hello, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, I'm trying to Sorry, figure. My name... Okay. Go ahead. All right, sir. My name is Kelly Robinson. I'm one of the supervisors here at the National Renewable Energy Center. I understand that you had some uh, questions or something that I can ask for you. 
Yeah, I've, I've got like probably about 1,500 square foot of south facing roof. Okay. And I was just trying to, I was asking the other guy there like, what the, how many kilowatts maybe I could expect to get out of that and how many years it would take me to pay off and become profitable uh, going solar. Okay, so your utility company is PG&E, correct? Yeah, that's correct. All right, so the thing is, sir, is that we're going to come out to your, your location and we're going to try to qualify you for different programs to help you with the startup cost of going solar, programs like... Uh, 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 free installation, no money down, the buyback program, there's hundreds of programs that you could possibly qualify for. That's just to name a few. Now, um, the, the whole purpose is, I know you have a lot of square footage and stuff like that, but uh, is it enough to offset your, your current, uh, your offset your current uh, kilowatt usage or not, you know? Um, with 1,500 square feet, that's more than enough. I mean, basically, uh, you'll be have to use, be using at least uh, uh, maybe 20 uh, kilowatts per day, uh, you know, for us to not to be able to, uh, to offset your, your your current utility usage. Okay. So uh, now, uh, let's just say that we uh, we we qualified you for some of the programs, and then you did to go, decide to go solar. Uh, the way it works is that like this, sir. Uh, basically, in all the excess energy that you're sending back to PG&E, uh, they'd have to pay you for all that. Now, there's two ways that you can receive that uh, that, that uh, money from uh, PG&E. One is uh, through annual, uh, annually. That's when they send you a check once a year. Mm -hmm. And the other one is they can put it towards your gas. Okay? All that's required of you as a, as a homeowner is the same old $70 that you've been spending, no more, no less. Okay? And then in three to four years, once you're done paying for your solar system, you know, you know, you're, you don't have your electricity bill no more. So, so three or four years at seventy dollars a month, you're saying, and I, yes. and, and my solar thing would all be paid off. Yes. Wow. That's After we call, you know, because the uh, the federal government. Sorry, if you don't mind me uh, getting kind of personal, are you kind of are you married or are you single? Uh. I'm married, but, uh, you know, right. I'm also retired, right. so, I mean, money is... Oh, okay. So, the, the reason I asked you that question is because the federal government will pay for 50% of your system, okay? So, if it's a uh, tax, it's called a, a federal rebate, tax incentive, uh -huh. uh, and so you get back 50% right there. Okay, so that's, that's, you know, 50%. Then there's other programs that you can possibly qualify for through the state of California as well as the utility company, okay? Uh, yeah, it all, it all sounds kind of really good. Now, now is, when, when, when PG&E's uh, lines go down, which happen quite often in this area, where we, we're, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> when we have like a, a blackout or whatever uh what what happens then do i have battery backup and inverters and all that stuff to keep my home running well that's that's all up to you sir if you would like a battery backup and you know and stuff like that that's that's also an option for you i mean like a lot of people are concerned about that um you know but we'll you know we'll let you know all, all your options and stuff like that you know and uh you know the cost of it and stuff like that um, are you typically available in the morning, evening, or afternoon? Uh, yeah, late mornings. Okay, morning, so I have uh, 11 o'clock, how's that sound? Oh, that's great. All right, how's tomorrow? Oh, that's, that'll be just fine. Okay, so that'll be the 8th. Uh, now, you said that you're paying, I know that you're paying more than $70, but how much is your bill uh, approximately, over 100 200 uh, it's under 200. Under 200, so I'm gonna put 150. All right. Okay. Now you said that you're married, so I take it that your wife will be there for tomorrow for this appointment. Well, actually, I'll be here. Okay. Well, the thing is, sir, is that we're gonna try to qualify you for different programs, and we're gonna fill out applications for those programs. And in order for us to put your wife's name on those applications, it's uh, she has to be in the house. Otherwise, it would be uh, illegal. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely, I understand. She'll be All here. Right. So, she'll be here? Yep, yep. Huh? 
Yes, she will be here. Okay. How many, how many years have you and your wife been in your residence? Uh, about four years. Well, 40 or four? Four. Oh, okay. How are you enjoying your new house? Oh, just love it. Oh, okay. Um, have you guys ever applied for any kind of discounts, uh, Lifeline Care Program, anything like that? Uh, no, haven't done that. All right. You're going to get a call within the next 10 uh, to 20 minutes, sir. It's going to be my confirmation department. They're just going to double-check your address and stuff like that to make sure our, we're not sending our technician to the wrong address. Uh, you know, uh, can I have, uh, for our records, uh, I have your wife's name here. Can I have your first name, sir? Yeah, uh, actually, you have my first name, Kristen, I think. I, I don't know what, what, what name oh, okay, you have. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. So, um... Basically, uh, you know, you're going to get a call within the next 10 or, 40, uh, 10 or 20 minutes. It's going to be from an 818 number. Uh, do you have a secondary number that we can get in touch with you with in case we can't reach you at this one? Uh, yeah, area, no area code 707 uh, 929 9088. Okay. Well, sir, my name is. Kelly Robinson, and I hope I can save you and your, your wife a lot of money, okay? Thank you very much. Oh, I hope so, too. Looking oh, forward right. to the call. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Assholes. I'll just plunk this back on record anyway, yeah? Jeez Louise. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that can be compatible with my iPhone. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> Is it AC or DC? What the fuck is an address across the street? Uh, one six. Oh fuck! What is it? One six five five four, I believe. Ah. One six five five four. And the name was. Car. The name was the pattern to do. C A R R. <laughs> Darling Car. <laughs> well, One fuck. six five five four. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's yeah, I it. I think it's good enough. Yeah. We'll just we'll just fuck with the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send the solar we'll send the solar people over to annoy the piss out of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> I think it is one six five five four. Yeah. <clears throat> God, I'll be pissed! Oh my God! <laughs> 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 They work all day, they don't want me fucking home. <laughs> I don't give a rat's <laughs> ass. These people are fucking scam artists anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy's going, oh yeah, well there's government programs, oh they'll pay 50% of the rate. And, <laughs> oh yeah, right. Yeah, just like Obamacare. Yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it's all on the up and up. <laughs> 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 Where do I sign, God damn it? <clears throat> Holy frick. <clears throat> I do hope they call back. I don't know what's going on.
These people are just way too fucking funny for me. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Three thousand something dollars. Really? For twenty five hundred dollars and just paying seventy dollars a month? I'll own my own solar power system and actually be able to sell energy back to the PG and E? Wee, sign me up. Isn't that about what we pay PG E every month? Yeah. 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 Well I told him we paid him paid it under two hundred dollars you go oh well I'll just mark that down as hundred and fifty bucks mm -hmm. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh yes you will get the federal energy grants hmm yes <laughs> how's that open change going for y'all hmm when is that douchebag gonna be out of, <laughs> out of the fucking White House <laughs> Oh, that's right, February 2016 or something. Mm -hmm. There's a January, I think it's February. February. <clears throat> Ain't gonna be soon enough, damn it. <laughs> oh, boy. See, the thing is, they, they are targeting people like idiots that read this bullshit on the thing here is skill fractures you know I think oh yeah skill fractures <laughs> she rolled out of a pick a uh, tow truck and got skill fractures <laughs> Oh yeah, eight one eight something or another. Hello. Hi, my name is Chris. I'm a scheduling coordinator here at the National Renewable Energy Center. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You, you're the guys who are supposed to call me back. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm looking at a file here. It says there's an appointment set for tomorrow at 11 a.m. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okay, great. So I found a solar company that fits our criteria. It's local to you. It's A1 Solar Power. They've been in the business for about 30 years now, and they've agreed to send a technician out to you at no cost. So all I have to do is double check your information, be sure you qualify, okay? Okay. Okay. So the address, it's 18790 Horseshoe Road. Oh, no, 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 no. You got that completely wrong. Oh, wow. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it switched with someone's... Uh, someone's other file. Do you think maybe I could fix this right from here right here? Well, yeah, I can give you my address. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, it's 16554 yeah. Mountain View Drive. Mountain View Drive. In okay. Cobb, California. C-O-B-B. C-O-B-B, Cobb, California, 95426. 92546? 426. 95426. 95426, yes. 95426. Okay, and uh, I'm not sure if I spelled the city right. It's Saab, S-O-B. C O B B. Oh, C O B B. Like okay. corn on the cob, you know. Oh, okay, yeah. So let's see. I'll fix that right here. Um, so you've been at that address for about four years now. Yes, I am. Okay, and uh, currently married. Okay. Yep. Um, the electric company it says it's a PG E, and you're spending about one hundred fifty dollars a month. Is that the whole bill amount or just the electric portion? Well, all we have is electric. They don't have. They don't have gas up here. I, I use. Oh, it's propane. Propane for heating. Okay. So, have you ever, ever applied for any special discounts to PG&E, specifically care, low income, or medical discounts? Uh, no. No. Okay, great. So, I'm assuming it's you and your spouse that are the only ones that qualify for this, as the only title holders of the property. Uh, yeah, that would be correct. Okay. Uh, both of you will be available for the announcement tomorrow at 11. I hope. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, great. 
Uh, one last question then, this may sound silly, you just have to make sure you live in an actual house, not a townhome or duplex where you share the roof with anyone? <laughs> actual house, oh yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, it, it's a single, it's a, a single family stick built dwelling. Okay, great. So, their dispatch will give you a call at least two hours before. They're gonna let you know who's coming out, what they're driving, and their license certification number. Uh, the only thing is they do not come unannounced, so you gotta be sure to pick up the dispatch call, okay? Okay. Alright, and to remind you again, it's gonna be A1 Solar Power. Alright, everything else is perfect. I appreciate your time. Well, well, A1 Solar Power, are you sure that's still gonna be the company coming out? Because you had my address completely hey. wrong. Well, it's in the it's in the San Francisco area. They're gonna come out they're gonna come out of the office in uh, Petaluma. Hmm. So they're so, driving they're driving like a hundred miles to come here. Oh Cobb? Yeah. Actually, yeah. You know what? Here, I'll i I'll double check. But it's it's getting a little late. Um, maybe we'll have some. It might be a different company. Um, we'll see if there's any other companies that's more close than that one that fits our criteria. And then the, their dispatch will give you. Gerald, a, put uh, the fucking tortoise back in the bathtub, would you? <laughs> Excuse me. Goddamn okay. kid. So yeah, um, I'll relook the, up the information with the new address. And then we'll see if there's a closer company. And then uh, we'll have their dispatch give you a call tomorrow. Does that sound good? That sounds good. All right, appreciate your time. So they'll be, night. they'll be calling at 10 p.m. tomorrow morning, right? Um, anytime, maybe around 9-ish. Okay. They need a little wiggle room just to make sure. Um, but there's an alternate number here. I'm sure they'll be able to get a hold of you. All right, that's, that's All very right. good. Yeah. All right. Everything else is perfect. I appreciate your time. All right. Thanks a lot. Hey, hey before, you, before you go, uh, is there any chance, like, with this program, I can get, like, them their uh, LED uh, light bulbs or something for my house? Oh, like, uh, you, you want to get, like, more efficient light bulbs and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, like yeah. LED things, not those curly Q stupid fluorescent things that <laughs> burn out every two well, weeks and... I know the, I don't know if solar companies work with uh, light bulbs and stuff too, um, but I'll look into it. Um, I'm not sure if there's any more programs like that, because uh, the programs, they get used up pretty quickly, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, they were telling me that, they were telling me that I, I get, be, be, be uh, um, uh, yeah, like qualified for some <laughs> federal, federal program, and, <laughs> and I just, I just ran the numbers, and it, it seems amazing to me as they, they're saying like seventy dollars a month for three years or something, and I have my system paid off, and that's like twenty five hundred dollars. It seems amazing I could get a solar panel that would run my home for that type of money. Right. Well, you know, um, I don't want to get your hopes up or anything. They're going to try to qualify you for the maximum amount of funding. Um, it looks here you qualify for a, a pretty good amount. Um, the thing is, uh, some of the programs did get used up, but they're going to look into all the options and see if they can give you, uh, the, basically the ultimate goal here is to get you to be spending less than what you're paying now for electricity. Does that make sense? So, I mean, yeah, there are people that have uh, owned their own system, the way you said, um, but that's not, that's not every person's scenario. Yeah. So, yeah. Because cause so, what, what I would ultimately like is because we're, 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 uh, we're, we're here in an area that we often get power outages and I've, uh, oh, wow. in, 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 instead of running the generator all the damn time, I'd like to have like battery backup or, or you know, an inverter, <laughs> charger, whatever the that's hell actually, I That's actually, I think that's that a really good question. That should be asked for the specialist that comes out to give the analysis. Um, I think they might try to hook you up to the grid, but you can ask them about getting a backup uh, battery bank since there's uh, blackout power outages over there. So that, that's that's something to definitely write down and maybe ask that right in the beginning. That way you don't forget. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm making all sorts of notes on 3x5 file cards right now. Okay, that's really I must good. must have 15 or 20 of them already since talking to the other guys there. Okay, so do you have any other questions before I let you go? 
Uh, no, 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 I don't, I don't think. Darlene, put down the fucking scotch, would you? God damn it! I'm sorry okay. about that. My wife okay. is, my wife is over there. She's plastered. And <laughs> <laughs> well, everything else is perfect. I appreciate your time. Have a great night. All right, you too. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> they fucking were they, are they? They thought we were down in San Francisco. I don't what know where this is going on here, man. I don't know. They just dial this. They call this number, and I got no idea who we are, or what, where we are, or anything else. Kind of Luma. I don't know. Is they come here from Luma? I don't. I don't even know what that address he gave me was, but it's funny. Some of the horseshoe. Road or something? Yeah, something like that. The fuck I have is no, that? no freaking idea. <laughs> Darlene, put down the goddamn scotch. You're plastered enough already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>